Well, well, well. Hello, 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 all my machine heads, and a welcome, welcome, welcome back to the. <laughs> you guys like that weird pause? <laughs> welcome back, everyone, to the Cow Empire. We are in the middle of, well, almost done. Uh, harvesting our canola i was like how long can i keep the pause before people start thinking i'm weird <laughs> um but how's everybody doing today i'm doing great i'm doing awesome i'm doing fantastic as usual oh you guys can tell i was really really looking forward to coming and recording i'm super 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 stoked about this let's play I was thinking about it all day long. How bad is that? And my apologies. I had to change my uh, screen, or uh, the title screen of the last video. Uh, I put up there. First of all, my one image of Farming Simulator 22 disappeared. So I've got to find another one to download. So I had to like text it in on the top uh, on the screen, and then I put. <laughs> It was episode one, not episode two, so I had to change it. So for so for those of you who noticed the change, <laughs> you are awesome, awesome. Now I bought a. Well, I didn't buy anything. We're right where we left off. Um, I downloaded a small, small, small manure spreader, and I forgot that I can actually buy manure in the. Um, in the pallets with the pallet download that I had but it'll also depend on how much it is so when we get done with this field and we're heading down to sell it we'll see how much they are um, how much the pallets are because I'm trying to save up it also was brought to my attention today that uh, which I did forget about by my farm advisor South Wisconsin farmer he uh, told me that, uh, and it reminded me actually, he didn't tell me anything, he just kind of reminded me, which is awesome. And he said, uh, remember Fury that when you your cows have babies, which if we start with five, they will have five babies, but those five babies won't be able to reproduce for 18 months. So I was mistaken. I thought, you know, I forgot that it was 18 months and not a year because when I buy the the cows in the beginning they're 18 months but they still take eight months or so to reproduce so we're gonna get five but if we buy five cows we're gonna have five babies but they won't reproduce for another year after that so I got thinking about it and I'm thinking that maybe I should start with like 20 instead of uh, so it may be a while just so that we can start uh, with just a little bit more than five even though it doesn't really matter the other thing is too is starting that small we may never reach the thousand limit um, and we could well I mean we could stay on this series as long as we want I don't care I love the map and that's the way it goes uh-huh uh-huh I like it uh-huh uh-huh that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Uh, can you tell Fury's excited? It's nice, it's nice. It's nice, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice. <laughs> yeah, um, I finally am doing what I love to do, which is playing realistic and slower pace and the hour-long videos. Uh, we had several people in the comments and Cavalier Roy, the ma maker of this wonderful, gorgeous, luscious map, uh, popped his head in and left a comment uh, and said that he prefers the hour videos and he prefers uh, the realistic version. So did Ranger. Oh, you guys are awesome. It's nice when the map maker comes in and he gives his two cents. It's kind of neat. I'm sure he's watching. I'm sure if I made them a mod or a map, which I have my own, but I just kind of monkey around with it uh i'm sure that if i made a map and put it on the in-game mod hub i would absolutely be watching who plays it and what's going on and see what's cool what i can help with and things and it's great it's great 
so make sure you guys are heading over to farmer z's i saw a couple of you over there already make sure you're liking and subscribing his videos and put in their fmfz challenge you can put a hashtag after it if you'd like or you could just put that in there what he does is uh if he notices your comment and then what you got to do the most important part of the challenge put that in the comments and then make sure you like and subscribe the video or subscribe to his channel and then one wednesday nights when he does his live show up in the chat and say the same thing in the chat and if he starts seeing you in the comments and the chat you'll get double farm coin double 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 make sure you guys check out the video he also edited a wonderful wonderful video of our multiplayer uh put in a flyover and put in a whole bunch of stuff for us and it was pretty much fury just rambling because he took his own voice out uh he didn't like the way his his camera or his microphone sounds i think when i listen to mine back i think sometimes it's a little bassy it's a little low uh but i like it because my hearing with all the heavy machinery i've ever run in my life my hearing is so bad but this tone that i'm at i'm able to hear my voice back so for me it works uh and i know that sometimes uh you guys on youtube it's a little low as far as like bassy um but that's okay because uh i have to be able to hear my voice uh when i record otherwise i don't know what i'm even saying that would be one of the hardest things to do is basically talk and not hear yourself so that's why it's at the at the level that it's at everyone um because i needed a little bit uh i put a lot of gain in it in my uh for those of you who know how to work microphones and things you guys know what i'm talking about um i've got all the noise cancellation stuff turned way up so that my tv can be on and i don't have to worry about hearing it and uh things like that but i turn the gain up which turns the the bassiness it, it it makes it louder but it makes it lower at the same time and it's hard to explain what that means but that's exactly what it does so i turned the gain up to like eight point something and i used to run it at like four to even out my voice also to let everybody know even though we will be going in cab 99.9999 percent of the time there may be some times like when we're doing bales and stuff that i will have to come out of cab because you can't see the you can't really see to do bales inside the cab so when we're doing bales we may come out and we're still going to do it realistically but we're just going to come out did you guys notice look at on the right hand side of the harvester inside it tells me on the little advisor to there it tells me how much is in it watch it when i start harvesting here again it'll start going up watch see 4168 41 it goes up and tells me the time so technically i could turn the hud right off and i would know how much was in this harvester it's great i'm gonna finish this up we almost ended up with eight thousand liters that is great all right so we are done harvesting shut this off but i want to lower that because i want to be able to see we're going to put our pipe out and we're going to head over here we're going to unload this into the wagon the wagon the wagon and then we're going to go put this back on the header trailer look at that I'm going to end up with a decent amount. At least a couple thousand. And then we're going to go and get our brooks and start clearing some of these trees. And what I'm going to do to make it a little bit more realistic is I'm going to chop down a tree with the wagon hooked to it. Uh, so I'm going to have to use the New Holland because it has a front mount on it. And then take it up and dump it into the silo. And then when we get ready to sell it, we will uh, sell it at, with just our 19000 at, at a time. All right, so let's zip across. We'll put this back onto the header trailer. And this is where I'm probably going to have to come out of cab to see the header trailer. But like we said, 
We're still doing it realistically. Oh, actually, before I do that, I got to bail. Yep, I got to get this bailed up just in case it might rain. So we can do both. We can do in cab and out of cab for sure. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Just get it just there. Back her up. You know what I didn't buy? I didn't buy a pressure washer yet. <laughs> So this get, this bad girl gets put away wet. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> See, it was so funny because I was watching Farmer Z's video back today. And uh, I was laughing hysterically because I... Usually after Fury stops recording, um, the, the conversations get a little bit more... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, they get a little bit more adultish. Alright, so what are we in here? Let's go up, up, and there. Alright, let's take this down and sell it. But anyways, so the conversations get a little bit more adultish. And I didn't know that Farmer Z was still recording. And so my apologies to any of you who uh, I may have offended with some of the things that I said. Uh, some of the things that CC said. It's just funny. Um, you figure it's 3 o'clock in the morning and you're just saying adult stuff. So you guys know how it is on this stretch. I gotta double check to make sure I'm recording. And I am. There we go. Didn't mean to stop in the middle of the road like that, but. So we're going to go down to the same place that we sold the wheat. That was the highest bidder. We're going to sell this. We're going to park our trailer. We're going to grab our uh, baler. Or actually, we're going to come back. When we come back, we're going to grab our flatbed. And I'm going to use a different tractor just for something to do. Um, we're going to head back down here. We're going to get our pallet of netting with our flatbed. And we're going to price to see how much the manure pallets are. Um, because I think I am. I think I'm going to save up to enough to where I can buy 20 cows in each pen. And that will at least give me 20 to start. So they can start making some manure and stuff. But we do have the option to buy manure, which is super realistic. Like I can go right now to Home Depot and buy manure. I can go to Agway and buy it. So you can buy it. You can also do, buy it in bulk from farmers and stuff, too. They sell it. So, if we have to buy a few pallets of manure to get us to going, um, I think I don't own the little manure spare, but I remember I got to sell the roller and I got to sell the uh, sprayer because we want to be natural. And those might get me the manure spreader because the manure spreader is small. Real super small. So I don't want to lose the money we're getting from our crops. With this 9000 at 500 a piece, I'm guessing about $4,500. That's what I'm guessing. But we, we got our harvest done. Oh, I thought that was floating. I was like, whoa. Uh, yeah, so we got our harvest done, so we didn't lose any crops. That's good. We still got the corn. Um there and we're probably going to lose it uh, because I won't I, I can't afford a corn header so it'll probably wilt after today which is fine I'm gonna plow it in and plant grass there anyways it's a little nice scenic drive it's nice this is three episodes in a row third episode everybody really 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 going we're going right along it's nice too when fury gets excited about filming because then the the you guys get the best fury instead of you know a manufactured fury trying to just get through extremely extremely tired today not gonna lie i did some work today i planted about 
35 acres of alfalfa. We finally hit in the 60s here today. Um, so I planted about 35 acres of alfalfa. And I stacked about 90 bales today by hand. Well, not by hand, but with the uh, skid steer. So it was a good productive day. I was home a little earlier than what I thought I would be. Thought I was going to have to work longer. I ended up, I started at about 6.30 in the morning. And I worked until about, it was about 6, so about 12 hours today. It's not too bad. But in 12 hours, I planted the 35 acres and I uh, stacked all those bales for him. So I did get some stuff done. It was his smallest field. He had a 35-acre field that he wanted planted, so. All right. Got a lot of good footage for you guys, though. That's exciting. All right. Drum roll, please. And go. Let's see what we get. Fifty-one. I told you. I figured about forty-five, five thousand. I figured forty-five. So, hey, we're already in the positive, and that's the good thing. You see how I took that corner a little wider? Oh, it was funny. I came home on my lunch break, and I was playing a little truck sim, and my dog was making... He was purring while he was sleeping, but he sounded like... I swear to God. I swear, because I had my headphones on, and uh, I I thought the Jake break was on on the, on the uh, truck. <laughs> he was going... Nah. It was going... He was going when he was he was purring while he was sleeping and it sounded like the jake break on the truck it was hilarious because the nice thing is is helping this guy the, the fields are literally right outside my house literally like probably you know how our fields are here right outside of our farm that's exactly where they are for me they're my you go my pet just past my backyard which is 10 acres and uh in a tractor that takes you like five minutes to drive there so i was able to come home for lunch and i spent about an hour and a half playing truck sim today awesome so we're gonna while we're here we're gonna stop and we're gonna see how much those manure pallets are for the heck of it i'm hoping there's a thousand liters in because let me show you guys the uh let me put this in neutral and i'll jump out let me show you the manure spreader I want. Unfortunately, for me, oh, for you guys too, it is green. It's the John Deere 34 manure spreader. It only holds like 750 liters, so it doesn't hold a lot, but it's cheap. It's cheap and only has a 9.5. And I found this, and it's even though it's a John Deere, it still would represent our farm pretty good. So that thing is twelve hundred dollars. So let's head back up, and then we'll bring down the flatbed with the sprayer on it. We'll sell the sprayer. Oops, I'm in neutral. It won't work, Fury. It won't work. <laughs> you have to put it in gear. So the little New Holland, though, will be a little bit faster. I think that goes 26. So that'll go a little faster. But I like it because, and you guys seem to like it, too, uh, because you guys are commenting on the fact that you guys are enjoying the, look at the scenery on this map. Absolutely amazing. Uh, amazing. So I'm happy. I love this map. I absolutely, I don't know what it is about it. I turn the traffic off. You guys know I turn it off on every map anyways, but I turn the traffic off and it actually still feels like you're at a place. 
is crazy. Yep, we gotta come down with our flatbed. We gotta bring our netting back to the field. And then we can start bailing. I don't know how much bailing we're gonna get done. But the harvest is done. And we didn't lose any crop. And that's the good news. Uh, I was, I'll show you when we drive by the... Because uh, I gotta go that way to put the tractor away. Because remember, I'm not allowed to lease anything. And I can't even get a corn header for $8,000. Because I would like to get this, I would have loved to get this corn off the field. Doesn't that field that I just harvested look like there's still something in it? <laughs> it's right here. And it's almost ready to go. Break on? Okay, good. Look at this, it's almost ready to grow. A go. It's got like one more stage left. And I would have loved to get this corn, for, you know, that I started with. Okay. Parking brake off. And there we go. Just the sound. Isn't it better, though, in cab with some of these older tractors? You can actually hear. Alright, now put our wagon away, then our header away, and then we take this tractor, put it away, grab our flatbed, and head down and get our pallet of... Yep, here's where I've got to come out just a little bit, because this trailer is quite a bit bigger. Whoops. See, with the, the manual, you can adjust how fast you back up. I've got it floored, and I'm only going four miles an hour. There we go. Unhook that. I knew that was going to happen. My foot slipped off. That was my fault. I got to save up and buy a pressure washer, too. See if I can get this in here without having to turn it around. We gonna cut this thing so sharp. Like a glove. Sorry for the tree view. Like a glove. You like that, everyone? Alright. I'm going to go put this track, track away. This tractor away. And we're going to grab our new Holland. <laughs> Drove backwards there for a little bit, didn't we? I forgot. I shut the door. All right. Put her in reverse. Put her in second. Now, what 
I try to do is get all of the tractors the same. Okay, put her in neutral and shut her down. Now you would normally let the tractor run a little bit to cool it down, but I think right. Nope. You is here. There she is. Awesome. Oh, this is a CV thing. All I gotta do is hit the gas on this one. Um, let's take down this and stick this on the flatbed. Well, this tractor's going to seem like a speed demon compared to the other one. All right. As you can tell, Fury's used to turning a certain way when he backs up. that we can back this on here. I hope so. Might have to come out a little bit here for us. Just suck. Oh, that does not like that sprayer, does it? I don't know if this will go on here. Might have to run them down separately. Let's see. It's going to clear it. Probably not, right? I don't know. It will, yeah, it'll clear it. All right, let me get this right then. Awesome. All right. Get it square, get her turned around. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Easier said than done. I'm determined to get this thing on there now. <laughs> I should have just ran it down there. The problem is, is this is such a tight to my tractor. I don't have a lot of give. There we go. Now we're square. Okay. Well, we tried. Ah, I shot that right in the dark. So I'll have to make two trips. That's okay. This thing goes quite fast. 
I tried, but I was wasting a lot of time trying to get that on the trailer rather than trying to get it. I should have just brought it down here. As long as we get at least 1,200 back for this, we'll be able to buy the monk spreader and I can bring it back. I've also got the pallets weigh only 100 because I figured if we're going to be buying pallets manure, you know, but then again, I have a forklift at the, at the shop too. So... That's why I got a forklift there. See, 27 miles an hour seems a lot. Seems crazy fast, doesn't it? Five thousand. Look at that. That's perfect. That's perfect. So let's buy us the manure spreader that we've talked about. Um, yeah, we're gonna go six miles an hour. And away we go. Go back, load up the flatbed, come back down here and pick up the powder netting. Go back and bail what we can for almost an hour. See, this looks a little bit big for this tractor, but for the other ones, trust me, it's going to look nice. See, this is what we talked about. Not in a hurry. We're doing things the right way. If I would have had a big flatbed with a roll bottom, I think would have been able to. I would have been able to put bolt because I got to sell the roller too. But that saved us. We actually bought a muck spreader and we made five thousand back from the selling that. So that's pretty cool too. Oh, you know what? I think I might have one of these on the farm already. Oh, that's going to be too funny. That's going to be too funny. I think I already do. I think Fury already bought it, so we can sell this back. That's funny, because watch where I was going to put it. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm going to have to call the shop back and have them come get it. There she is, way over there, see? See, see, see? Yep, I already got one here. All right, so let's call the, let's call the shop and have them uh, come get that one. <laughs> there. So, now I'll take my flatbed down, go grab my net, come back, and bail. Actually, I gotta sell one more thing, too. I gotta sell that big roller. But, whatever the cost of that is, we gotta figure out what we can buy, so... I don't wanna be that far ahead. Look how high that grass is, it's pretty cool. The worst thing is, uh, the guy was telling me today that the 
They're going to start mowing tomorrow, alfalfa. And they said in like five weeks they can mow the grass. Because they got, they've been mowing the grass today. Um, and then they said in five weeks they're going to mow the grass again. I'm like, wow. But then again, if you think about it, in real life, I mean, let your lawn grow five weeks and see what happens. It'll be me eye. There we go. I won't sell that roller yet until it's only going to give me $4,000. I want to make sure I test that red one first, though, to make sure. Um, and I think I'm going to run the baler on the uh, other tractor. See, this is the one that we should run to sell grain with, at least at 27 but then again, like we said, we're not in a hurry. But the nice thing is, is that after this episode, when we come back for tomorrow's episode, we will be into September. We'll be, I'm going to go at 9 o'clock in the morning instead of 8. All right, we're going to go like this. And I'm going to jump out. has two doors on it too so used to getting in a tractor this way but you could get in it the other way too all right let's head back home head back home plus this tractor i don't need a gear shifter for because it it's uh cvt transmission so it's gonna shift for me So how was your guys' day? It was beautiful here, actually. It was a little overcast all day, but it, it reached to about 64. It got pretty decent out. Um, I don't think I took my hoodie off all day, though. So then again, I was working inside of a skid steer and a tractor all day, so it, I really didn't get a chance to feel. I never turned the heat on in the tractor. I never turned the heat on in a skid steer, but I do remember it being... Still, it was what it was. Was it was uh, it was damp. Uh, it was it was it was like it just felt like there was a lot of moisture in the air. Um, that's what it felt like to me, anyways. We're gonna put this right over by our field because it makes sense. Because this is the field we're gonna be bailing on. So first and foremost, let me jump out here and unhook this. Bring my little hand up. And we're going to squeeze this right over here. So we'll back the baler right up. As long as it's out of the rain. But we can back the baler up. it. All right, now we'll put this trailer back in. This shed was here, and if we ever decide, we could get rid of it. Because the one thing Cavalier Roy did is he, he allowed you to sell everything. He put all, there's a uh, at least one factory of every kind on the map. Every shed, every pen, everything can be uh, sold. We're going to bail. We want to use this one to bail? No, let's use this one to, for now. For our running our bales. And um, run into the shop. Uh, what do I want to put 
put this oh right back in the hole that's why I left it open This one shut, and we'll take the cab version down to yep, I do that. Now that roller straight ahead. This right here is the one I gotta sell after I test this thing. If I test this and it works on the grass, then we'll sell it. If not, I own the other one already. All right, there's our baler over there. As I burp. A tractor's not in there, Jim. Here, just a little bit. I think I'm going to stay outside the camera to bail, too. Oh. <laughs> I forgot we're back in the manual. Now, I got to remove these trees so that I can come right here and fill my netting up. Make sure it says refill, which it doesn't. All right, got to get a little closer. Oh, you know why? I know why. Because this, I didn't buy the right one. All right. We may not get much bailing done today. Because I got to go sell this and buy the right bailer. That's my fault. Actually, I can sell it right from here. That way I'm not trying to get unstuck. Yeah, I didn't buy the one that takes the netting. Eh, eh. See, I bought a regular, I bought a regular baler. Yep. Now we got to go here and buy a baler and go all the way down and get the right one that takes the netting. Net abra. There we go. It's a little more expensive. Holy crap, that took all of our money that we had saved up because these are mad expensive. Holy cow. Wow. Okay, welcome to the wonderful world of farming. Oh, man. So all that money we had saved up is gone. Oh well. I didn't realize they were that much more expensive to add the net, net wrap on them. Because it was 45,000 then it was 57,000 for the for the other one. And I didn't even use that baler so it wasn't like 
you would think that I got any kind of, uh, I should have got almost full price back for it. When I get to the store, I want to check on something. Because it may have been just from me taking it home and it lost value. So I want to make sure. Well, we're not going to get a lot of bailing done today. That's for sure. But that's okay because we sold our canola. We brought our twine home. We sold uh, the sprayer. And we ended up getting the right baler that we wanted for the net add-on. I forgot about that when I bought it. That was my fault. I was like, how come this isn't taking the, the net add-on? <laughs> but another nice trip down to the stove. Down to the stove. But when we come back, back. <laughs> when we come back tomorrow morning, which will be September 1st, We'll be able to finish bailing. We'll, we'll finish bailing this, and then we're gonna come down with our trailer and pick up our bales off the field, take them back, put them into the shed by the cows. Okay, so. Reverse, 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 reverse. It's nice because I, I turn traffic off for this very reason. I don't have to turn and look. I can just drive out of here. And it gives me, I think for me, uh, this is the main reason. First of all, the traffic on these maps, I don't care how good of a map maker you are. The traffic that FS22, FS19, FS17, FS15, FS13 all used this horrific, nonsensible, non-smart traffic like... They don't even stop. Like, you could pull out by accident, and they'll just run right into you. They'll run right over you. Uh, you could accidentally be coming out, see how I'm technically driving in, in, well, in the U.S. I'd be driving on the wrong side of the road. The car coming at me won't even stop. It's like, no. It's going to run smack into me. And so many, 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 I think what happened with as many, many times in 19, I literally, uh, must have hit at least 15 cars, 16, 20, whatever how many cars it was backing out on from a field onto a road and the car just comes out of nowhere and just smacks your trailer or whatever. Um, so I just, ever since the end of 17, beginning of 19, I turn off traffic every map I play. I don't care if it's by myself or I'm recording. The traffic comes off because I just can't stand it. I think it's just absolutely ridiculous. So, we'll get about 20 minutes of bailing in. <laughs> oh, I want to make sure these are on a 180 size bales. Well, I might as well leave that up right now because I'm going to come in here. Um, I don't know if I can make that corner. That tree, Those trees have got to come out. All of these trees are going to be removed, but we're going to make money off of them. Just want to make sure the net thing comes up. All right. And it did. There we go. Awesome. All right.
11,000 liters for 180 bales of straw. How absolutely disgustingly cool is that? Down in the second. Get down in the first. All right. Might have to just go down every time because this tractor's not powerful enough uh, to go up. Eleven thousand liter bales. How awesome is that? shot up this hill. Come on, girl, you can do it. did it. It's going to make a bail right here real quickly though. So as you can see what I'm doing is my headlands last. This is going to go very like two feet. up up I want to swing the bail the other way so she's turned and she just rests there 
There we go. Put my pickup back down. Whoops. Got my camera was backwards in here. There, one eleven thousand liter pail. Sweet. Gonna get a bunch of straw. Try to get to the end of this row before our day ends. You can hear the the engine or the smell the engine overheating. <laughs> Well, this baler isn't doesn't take a lot of horsepower, but the eleven thousand liter bale does. We got to finish it there so I can send my goodbyes. All right, look at the size of this bale. 11,000 liters, 460 kilograms. So you wouldn't be able to pick that up by hand, that's for sure. Unless you were a strong man, and then maybe you could roll it. Huge. And it's great because then when you when you put one of these in the, uh, the straw blower, it's 11,000 liters automatically. It's great. All right, everybody. So we made it to the end of episode th 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 three of the cow empire thank you for joining me thank you for watching uh we're gonna come back we're gonna finish bailing this up and then we're gonna get our brooks out and try to make some of our money back and on that note please 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 look out for yourselves look out for each other and most importantly look out for each other's families be sure to like subscribe and share 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 and hit the little notification ding ding bell uh so you get notified when fury drops a video and please 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 enjoy the night the day the weekend whenever you're watching this and on that note, Fury Machine will, will leave you guys. And when I see you again, it will be September 1st. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. In fact, I'm going to run up here and get set up. So when I shut the video off, all I got to do is go right to the next day. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>